are for reading. Hey friends, today we are reading a book about a little caterpillar who has a big appetite. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Wow, so precious. A new life is about to begin. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. Food, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm hungry. On Monday, he ate through one apple. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Oh my, my, how big is his tummy? On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Three plums? <coughs> but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. <coughs> But he was still hungry. Wow, how much food will he eat? On Friday, he ate through five oranges. <coughs> but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomachache. Aww, poor little caterpillar. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. Wow, look how big he's got. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and ta-da! He was a beautiful butterfly. I thought the caterpillar would never be full. Eating the right things helped him grow into a beautiful butterfly, and the wrong things gave him a stomach ache. You too can grow up big and strong if you eat right. Come back to read more stories together anytime you like. I hope you all enjoyed this story. Oh, I can't reach the subscribe button. Could you press it for me?